Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 41, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance called... Papo Pup Siki? Alright. Let's uh, check who they've banned. I hate y'all already. Gallon is banned. Um, let's see here. Ban immune. Da -da -da. Okay. Let's uh, go in and see what they have in store for us. We already know it's going to be a tough war. All right. So I take path three. So right off the bat, we have a mojo. So that's a good placement because I now have to think about a counter for mojo. He's already a very difficult uh, defender. So he takes a counter. Then we've got Super Scroll. Now, Super Scroll here. Let's see here. Yeah, I have to. These are the globals. All right. So. I know that he does get armor ups. So I have to be careful again with that one. Because. I will be taking damage because of that uh, spaced armor and electric defense there. Okay. So I can't just use uh, Claire, for example. Normally I can use Claire against uh, Super Scroll. Can't do it here. And while he has that armor up, I'll get a power burn. So. For this counter, I need someone who's power burn immune. So that's going to be interesting. Now, I normally bring in Namor when they ban Gallon. And Namor can do that fight. But Mojo. He might be able to do the Mojo fight. I don't know. But I'm probably not going to bring him in for Mojo. So that's a that's a interesting dilemma I will have to think about. Man thing, I normally would bring in Diablo, but I'm not going to have uh, room. Now, Human Torch is not banned. So Human Torch could do Mojo and Man thing. But I don't really like using Torch because I run the... Uh, recoil masteries, and he's not the best with those. Uh, because of double edge, he'll be bleeding, and so um, even though he can be used, he's not at his best when you're running those. So I tend not to use him. Um, so I would prefer bringing in someone without buffs. So like Spider-Man 2099 or uh, Titania would be who I brought. But neither one of them can take Super Scroll, so I would need to bring someone for Super Scroll. Then we've got I Doom. I usually take these I Dooms uh, ever since he kicked my butt that time. Uh, and I would bring uh, Overseer. He does very well against this I Doom. And then we've got Nimrod. And Mantis. Now, Mantis, I need to uh, practice a little bit against her. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember at this point whether she gains armor ups or not. Um, if she gains armor ups, I need to bring somebody for her. Um, but. I'm thinking at this moment, Claire should be able to do these fights, but I will double check that. So Claire, the Overseer, and I only have one spot left. And if I have to deal with Mojo, this is going to be interesting. So I have to think about who can possibly take both of these. You know, will will I, even if I brought in Human Torch, I still need a solution for Super Scroll. So at this moment, I don't know who I'm going to bring in. You're going to have to wait until we 
uh, start the fighting because I have to discuss it. I have to uh, find out who would be a good solution for this. Uh, if I don't take I Doom here, then perhaps I can bring in someone to take, you know, it, it might be that I do have to bring in a Human Torch for this man thing and for uh, Mojo. And that way it would be Human Torch, maybe uh, Hulkling. And then Claire. So we'll we'll have to discuss it. All right, uh, let's get on with the fighting. So here's the team I finally went in with: Titania, the Overseer, and Claire. Titania was who I decided to use for Path Three, Section One, and it was a rough decision. Uh, they did a very good job with the defense here because you have Mojo who requires kind of a specific counter. You know, you need to deal with him. Now, he doesn't get armor ups, so the node doesn't help him, but he's still Mojo. So I could have brought in whoever I wanted to against Mojo. You know, you got Human Torch. He wasn't banned this war. Um, I could have done, you know, Titania or... Uh, Spider-Man 2099, even Guardian. But then I still had to deal with Super Scroll. So that fight, when we get there, it was rough. All right, so here we go. Started off with a heavy attack, and I'm just going in. Nothing too uh, crazy. I always have to remember not to stay too close to him all the time because even though she doesn't get any uh, buffs, so I won't get that crazy degen. There's still some uh, damage uh, from that field. All right, so here we go. And you can see we're chewing them up. Look at this. Oh yeah. Mm. And now this kind of irritated me. All right, I want you to watch this. Look at this. I go in like this, right? And I'm like, yes, this should finish him. 1%. I don't care what they say about no challenge mode. I'm sick of seeing that 1%. And especially since I run the recall masteries, what that does is it makes me take recall damage when I shouldn't have. That's damage that I shouldn't have had to take. Uh, anyway, uh, now for the fight. This fight was something. I dueled and I got some advice from an alliance mate. And I didn't know this about Super Scroll. Okay? Did not know this. So you know Super Scroll gets armor ups. But what I didn't know is that I can parry him and convert his whatever into Furies. And once he gets five Furies, that's the most he can deal with. Five. And so <clears throat> I shouldn't have to deal with armor ups. So that's why I decided to bring Titania uh, because she could deal with Mojo and then, you know, fighting him a certain way, I should be good. Okay, so that's what you're going to see me do here. It's very, very interesting. First time I'm having to do this. So there's a parry. Parry, see the fury. Parry, see the other fury. We're going to just keep parrying. More fury, more fury. Bam, five furies and he dexed me. I'm like, are you kidding me? He dexed my heavy attack. Come on. But anyway, see, look at that. No armor ups. But then he fired his special and we got armor ups again. That freaked me out. Now I'm like, oh no. Because when I did the uh, duel, he didn't get his armor ups. So I'm trying to parry again to convert them, but they're not converting. All right. So I'm just like, okay, I have to wait this out. All right, so once it went out, okay, parry again and go in. Now he didn't have his armor ups and I'm getting that damage in as much as possible. Then he fired his special and he's got his armor ups again. So I was not prepared for that, okay? I didn't know that once he fired his special one, the armor ups would come back. I thought I was good. 
once I parried him at the beginning of the fight. But I was like, okay. And then I did that just to see. And sure enough, I got damaged. And now I'm in the corner. Now I'm in trouble. Thank you for that invulnerability boost. All right, so here we go. And all right, we got the haymaker. Let's go, let's keep pushing him. Push him further, further back. We don't wanna play. Bam, hit him, hit him with it. Mm. And now, ah, oh, I was so scared about that. And now I have to be careful. I got falter on me. Whew. Okay, falter gone. Let's finish him. Man, let me tell you, my hands were shaking by the end of that fight. That fight was probably the toughest fight so far this season that I had to deal with. Um, but as you can see, we got it done. And now that I know what I have to do, it would be much easier uh, if I had to face him again. Now, I do. And I didn't want anybody to take this I do but me because I could have done that as well. Uh, if somebody else could have taken the I Doom, I could have brought in someone else to deal with that Super Squirrel like Hulkling. And then we would have been fine. But I like fighting I Doom. If you guys remember how he whooped my butt the first time I met him on this node, I remember. So he's pretty simple for me to fight now. Now watch this. Nice, right? See how I evaded that special one? No problem. Real easy. All right, here we go again. Woo! Looking good, isn't it? So no problems, right? So at this point, I fire off my special two. Boom! Okay, nice retaliation. Come on. Come on. Give it up. All right, there we go. Nice. And I did a nice, uh, you know, punish the special. All right, we're doing good. Can y'all tell me what happened right there? Y'all see me evading it like crazy, right? Look at it, evading it. So what happened just now? What you think happened? Thank you for the invulnerability. And it wasn't like I, I moved and got clipped. Like see that one, I just got clipped. But that other one, no movement, hit full. If it wasn't for the invulnerability boost, that would have hurt me really bad. Swipe back, he stood there. I don't know how many times that happens and I know that's happened to you guys as well. I was so upset to find out that they had switched over to the beta um, input system and we no longer had an option because I always opted out of it because of those issues. I actually had a much better time on the old input system. I didn't have it, and so I love having that choice. But anyway, um, that's the MCLC world we live in right now. Um, so this fight, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna try to cycle through, all right? And of course, even though it's a low chance, I got the bleed on me, as you see. And I'm just like, man, all right, whatever. All right, so here we go. And I should have fired this special two earlier, but I got the bleed on me again. It's not supposed to be a 100% chance, okay? But it seems like that's how it goes. Um, but in any case, I just said, you know what? I'm going back into the Curse of Blood mode because they playing. They playing with me, you know? And I'm like, I'm not gonna bleed to death with Claire. It's not gonna do it, all right? And here we go, I got a little bit of my health back. But I didn't, I didn't even want to play. I should have stayed in Curse of Blood so that I was nice and healthy for the next fight. Because the next fight worried me. So I already had a tough fight against Super Scroll using Titania on that uh, path, right? But now, I'm going to fight Mantis. And I don't really fight Mantis. And if you'll notice, the other two that I have are science. You don't want to fight Mantis with a science champion. That much I remember. She is really good against science. So I'm like, all right, I went and I got some more uh, health potions for uh, loyalty, brought those in, uh, healed up a little bit. 
And I wanted to do this fight before I went to sleep while I still had that 30% war boost on. Otherwise, I could have just relaxed and done it the next day. But I wanted to make sure I used that boost. I went on uh, YouTube, went around looking up different um, uh, videos that said what good counters were. Nobody was using Claire against her. Uh, so I just said, all right, let's just go in and try and do this. All right, so, so far everything is looking good. And that sleep is worrying me. And I got hit there because I looked up at the sleep timer. And I'm like, okay, I need to time this because I do not want to get caught by that sleep. And I wasn't even sure if that would work. I know how encroaching stun works, but she has this encroaching sleep. And I was hoping it worked the same way that I wouldn't get it with um, firing a special, that it wouldn't stop my special in the middle. And I was happy to see it did not. Um, but you see, I was getting whooped up because I'm not familiar with her uh, animations. So thankfully, I had that invulnerability boost still on. Love it. So we got her down. It was nowhere near as difficult as I was afraid of. I just need to learn how to... Um, I need to learn her animations better. That's all. Uh, but anyway, that was it for my participation in the war. I did not take that many. And you will find out when we come back how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. Uh, we fought pretty well, I think. Um, had good communication. We just uh, died a bit too much. Um, but it was, it was a pretty good war. So uh, definitely a shout out to, was it Papo Paposki? Uh, Siki? I don't know how to pronounce you guys' name, but good job. Good job. You guys fought well. All right. Uh, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.